Hi folks, welcome back to more EA Sports PGA Tour. Now we're going to be playing the final round of the Wells Fargo Championship over at the Quail Hollow Club, and it is in what, Charlotte, North Carolina. Now I think we have this one in the bag, guys. We, we've got to win this one because, let me go on to this, we'll go to the leaderboard. As you see, I am doo -doo -doo, minus 18, and the closest one to me is a Davis Riley, who is minus 13. I had a really, really good um, second round. I shot what? Eight under, nine under in the second round there. What is this? It's past 71, past 72. It's past 71. Yeah, so I shot an eight under on the second round. I shot a five under on the third round and a five under on the first round. Now, the AI, I don't know what the hell's wrong with the AI. They seem to play really well on the first round. Will, Will, Will Zalatoris, he was actually one shot ahead of me after the first round, but then he hit a 68 and a 68. And all the others have sort of gone the same. They seem to play crap after the first round. So I think we've got this one in the bag. So let's jump in and get it started. Again, we still are on the hard swing difficulty. We have got the power bar turned off for the swing as well. I'm actually getting used to it now. Uh, this sort of timing a little bit better. So we shall see how we do here. I've got the commentary turned off as well. Okay, first hole was par four, 495 yards. Look at that, even matched my bag, all black and white. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, the wind's up quite high today, nine mile an hour. Okay, let's get a good one off the first. Okay, a little bit of underswing, a little bit of a slow, but it should be absolutely spot on down the middle. Lovely. Not a bad drive either. Carried 306, total 331. So that leaves us 216 to the pin. And it's 26 feet down. So... Do, 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 do. So that's playing about, what, 207? So let's bring this... Oh, I don't want that. Get back there. There we go. Hybrid. We'll go with a five iron, I think. We'll still bring it back just a touch. We'll put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, mind you, that wind. Let's bring it back another club. Let's go with a six iron. Do you know what? I might have to bring it back another club. 183. Let's try that. Just see how the wind's playing. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Go on, get on the green. Oh, not bad at all. We'll take that. Okay, sets us up for a birdie putt on the first. Oh, we've just missed that. My swing on my putting is always a little bit squiggly now for some reason. I remember in 2K, I had to actually rotate my controller because I kept pushing to the right. So I actually, I actually had to rotate my controller to the right so I was actually shooting a bit straighter. Okay, second hole is a par four, 452 yards. A little bit of a dog leg around the corner here to the right, uh, to the left, should I say. Now, every round I've hit this, I've hit withdraw on it, and I hit the bloody trees every time. So I'm going to aim it around about this way a little bit more this time. Oh, that's better. Perfect. And a 0.4% overswing. Oh, that's perfect. We've got that wind right in our face, though. 10 mile an hour. Okay, we've got here 186, 24 feet up. So that is playing around about 194, but we've got that wind against us as well. So let's go up a club, 194. We'll bring it back just a touch, I reckon. And we'll put some more loft on that as well. Oh, that wind's pushing it a bit. Come on, come down. Oh yes, not bad at all. Says it's up for another birdie putt. Oh, that's a tricky one, though. But quite a lot of break to it, left to right. 
Oh, that's it. Oh, I thought that I had that. I made a cracking putt in the third round. I had one of the heart stopper moments with that putt. It was over 50 feet. <laughs> that was a beauty as well. I, swear, I really wish they had um, shot replays after you've took your shot. Because I've had, what, three hole-in-ones now? I've had an albatross. And I think, I don't know if I've actually only had one, one of the hole-in-ones recorded so far. It's really annoying when I'm not recording and I get a hole in one or something like that and there's, there's, there's no replay function. Right, let's aim this way over to the right hand side here. I've got 12 mile an hour wind coming in from the, the right here. Oh yes, look at that. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's right down the middle. <laughs> oh yeah, what I meant to say is on the, my last video. This month, the 12th to the 14th Diablo 4 server slam they're doing like a server status test uh, before the game releases in June seriously guys you really should play this even if you're not into ARPGs oh this game is gonna it's, this is probably gonna be could be game of the year Diablo 4 absolutely amazing game right let me just take this oh what am I doing yep I was looking for my power bar there. I forgot I've got it turned off. <laughs> yeah, Diablo 4, absolutely fantastic. I've been in both um, beaters now. And I've, I've, I've already pre-ordered the game. But you should actually, you should definitely play it. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free to everybody. It's open to everybody. It's like an open sort of play session. They just want to try the servers out. And you can play a character up to level 20. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that, but a pop. Get in now! So yeah, so May the 12th to the 14th, Diablo 4, download it, give it a play. I think you guys will absolutely love it. The story's fantastic, the graphics are fucking... Oh, excuse me, oh, I do apologise. <laughs> the graphics are really, really well done. And the fighting in it is absolutely fantastic. The classes as well, the, the sorcerer and the necromancer... I think I'm going to roll a Barbarian this time, but oh, what a game. Can't wait for it to release properly. Right, what we got here, I'm, I'm losing concentration here talking about Diablo. Okay, fourth hole is par three. Right, what we got? 179, we're at 182. Let's put on to Finesse. And again, we'll put some, a little bit of high loft on there. I'm going to have to bring this right back over here though, I reckon, because of that wind. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the wind's not turned as much as I thought. But that'll do it. Even though this is all set like up in the tournament, these greens are very receptive. Go on, turn in. Lovely. Okay, two birdies. So how far are we in the lead now? Oh, six shots clear. Get in there. I do think I might have to start playing um, true sim mode on this one, guys, because even with the power bar not turned off, it's still too easy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Was it Wyndham Clark? Is it Wyndham Clark? I think his name was. The guy who's actually leading the Wells Fargo Championship just now going into the third round. He is minus... Four... No, 16. Yeah, he's minus 16. So I'm only sort of two shots ahead of him going into the final round, if you know. My trousers look green there to me. They're white. <laughs> so, I mean, the scoring is not that far off. I'm only two shots clear of what they are in real life. So. All right, come on. Let's go. See, what I'm doing with this swing, because I've not got the power bar on, I'm trying to sort of time it with the look of the animation so when the club head gets to a certain um, sort of distance or his arms get to a certain that's when I'm taking my shot and it's kind of working out I haven't got it absolutely bang on yet especially with all the clubs the driver's not doing too bad though right I don't think we need to put any loft or anything on this just smack it in there come on turn in a bit more Oh, yes. Don't spin back. Damn it. False front. Didn't even notice. 
I should have took a little bit more care of that and looked at the green better. Right, let's go with a little pitch shot, bring it back a little touch, put a bit of high loft on it. These are the ones I can't kind of judge yet, which is 100%. See what I mean? Look at that, 3.5% overswing. Yeah, so the little pitches, the chip shots and that, they're... I haven't actually worked them out yet. And that's another thing. I wish we had like a like a driving range in this game. That you could go and practice these. Th oh, that's crap putt. Don't talk when you're putting. Massive underswing there, 1%. That probably pushed it out to the right a bit there. So we'll take up the par. Oh, it's a bogey. Crap. Damn it. Okay, so we dropped a shot there, but we're still five shots clear of the pack. Okay, par 3, 249 yards. This is a downhiller, this one, isn't it? Yep, 26 feet downhill. So that is playing... Doo -doo -doo -doo. What, 245, I reckon. Let's go with the 3 wood. Let's go with the 5. Tell you what, I'm going to go with a little, little hybrid here. Should at least make it onto the green and run up. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's gonna go, gonna go too far. Well, oh, it's actually held the green. Not too bad. Bit of a lengthy putt though. It's gonna be a, quite a big breaker from left to right. The looks of it. Yep. Right. Oh, that's close. That's oh. Thought that rolled over the bloody lip there, but they fixed that. <laughs> I will take the par. It's not too bad. One bogey, two birdies. Okay, still four shots clear. It's that lovely looking hole. Look at that. Beautiful courses, isn't they? Par five. Let's take a little screenshot of this one. Might actually use this as my thumbnail. Look at that. Stunning looking course. There we go. So annoying that I haven't got my um, my sky cam. <laughs> I can look around and take nice screenshots. Right, let's aim this down this left hand side here. Oh, well, that's a big overswing there, 2.2%. Just as well, I aimed way over to the left, so... Oh, stopped pretty quick. So that leaves us... 199. Um, let's go with the finesse. We'll go with the 6-iron. We'll put quite a lot of... But we're going to bring it back quite a bit. Let's try about there, I reckon. Oh, that's nice. Only 0.2%. Get in there. Oh, it's going to run a little bit, though. So that's going to leave us just a little chip shot up. Yeah, as I said before, the pitch shots and the chip shots, these are the hardest ones to sort of work out. Oh, that's going, is it? Oh, nearly. Got another birdie though, takes us to minus 20. And he still hasn't moved up yet. He's still on minus five, uh, minus 15. Okay, eight holes, 354 yards. I think we should just aim right towards the tree there and hopefully the wind will push it a little bit to the right for us. I mean, I don't even have to actually go with the driver here, but we will. Oh, look, oh, it was a power drive. Yeah, if you miss hit with a power drive, it does make the ball move a lot further left or right. And that was a little bit of an overswing that. So we'll go with a nice little pitch shot. What have we got? 90 97%. So we'll probably go just a little bit there. Let's try that. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's actually bring it back just a little touch more. Try about there. Oh, 
That should be okay. Lovely. Okay, 21 and over. Back to six shots clear. Okay, par four, 505 yards. Winds just creeped up to 11 miles an hour, but we should be good. Bang on. A little bit short though, only 285, but it's only a par four. We should reach a green two, no problem. Let's put it back to about there. Oh, that's absolutely spot on. Look at that. Nice. Sets us up for another nice little birdie shot. Uh, birdie putt here. But can we get it? Maybe a little bit more that way. Oh, go on. Get in. Yes. Nice. So we've got a one bogey there on the back nine. K10 okay, it's par 5, 592 yards. Another nice one. Ah, crack. I really do like this course, though. Quail Hollow. Uh, Quail Hollow. Beautiful course. Right. Aim down this left hand side. Let's put a little bit of draw on it as well. Uh, kind of hoping that wind is going to hold it in. Yep, it has. Lovely. Okay, 268, 23 feet down. So it's playing around about 261. Uh, let's go with the... Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's go with that. Put on finesse. Back to the five wood. Let's try about there, I reckon. Because we just want it to hit the front of the green and kind of roll up. Oh, how's that going to work? Come on. Oh, absolutely spot. No, no, it's going to roll off the green. Damn. I thought that was going to work out really nice there when I was first seen it land. That'll do. Looks like we'll pick up the par here. Nope, birdie. It's par five. Nice. Nice little string of birdies we've got going on here. 23 under, look at that. Bloody hell. I mean, it's nowhere near some of these guys that these guys are shooting in the tournaments. Nowhere, absolutely near. See the little four hole tournaments and that, that you go and play. A lot of these guys are hitting minus sixes all the time. I'm like, how the frig do they, they're hitting that? And then on the full 18, even at the 18 holes, uh, tour sim mode, they're like 21 and 22 under. On like Augusta. I'm like, that's crazy. But you know, you always get them. Doesn't matter what game you play. Oh, that's pushing. Uh, pulling to the left. That should be bunker bound, I think. Oh, it ran quite a bit in the bunker there. It's not too bad. We're right at the top of the lip here, so we should be okay. Okay, 127.15 up, so it's playing, what, 132? Right, 132. We should be good going in just straight at it with this wind, you know. That worked out okay. Okay, slight little right to left break here. Shouldn't turn much at all, and we get it. Nice. Another birdie. That's what five birdies on the bounce here. Doing well. Wow, look 
at that. What a difference. Eight shots clear of the lead, uh, the, the pack. And we're only on the 12th. <laughs> Bit of a thin fairway, this one. Let's see if we can hit a nice one. It's going to push it a little bit to the right. Is it going to hold? No, it's in, in the thick stuff. Hopefully that tree doesn't come into play there. Oh, it does. Right, so we're going to have to put a bit of fade. Take it around the tree. We've got that wind against us as well. Um, 87 to 96%. Let's go up a club. We'll put on finesse. Why does it do that? There we go. Um, which way is the wind? There it is. Right, so I said a little bit of fade on it. Take it around the corner. Let's try that. Oh, yes. Not a bad Oh, I thought it might have been a bit closer to that. It was caught a little slope. It's coming down. Okay, right. Oh, boom, get in there. What a putt. What a putt. Okay, 13th hole, par three, 208 yards. And again, the downhill of the looks of it, if I remember right. No, it's, all, no, it's not. I actually looked downhill there. Right, um, got the wind against us. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to have to go in here with a little hybrid. Little bit of an underswing. Didn't want to try and hit a full swing there because I thought it might have run out the back, but still leaves a... So a mid-size putt here. Boom. Get in now. <laughs> oh dear. Is that one little blimp we've got? Oh, I went in the water on the third round on this one. I put a lot of um, draw on it to try and just keep it out to the, to the right. And it actually hit the green, but then it actually rolled and went in the bloody bunker. Uh, let's go with the driver, but we'll pull it back to about here. And we'll hit another underswing as well. Ooh, I thought it might have been a bit closer. A bit too much of an underswing there, 3.4%. So I wanted to catch um, just over here somewhere. Run about here and it would have trickled down onto the green, I reckon. But um, what have we got? That wind coming in from the right here. So let's play it to about here. And we'll put some loft on it as well. Beautiful. There we go. Little tappy tap. And we pick up another buddy. Ooh. Doing pretty well. 11 shots ahead of the pack. Come on, boys. What are you doing? Okay, par five. Oh, got par five. 577 yards. Right. Let's try not overswing this time. We might end up in that bunker. Oh, 1.4%. It's not too bad. That's going to be absolutely bang on. Oh, no run on that fairway at all, though, is there? Still reached the green, though. Oh, that pins right at the front. Um, let's go five wood. Going to have to go with the five wood here, but I'm going to bring it back. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to bring this in a little touch from the left because of that wind. Oh, that's staying out left. It stayed out left. So that's going to leave a little pitch up. Is 
Nice. It gives a little tap. Just a little tap in. And we'll pick up the pot. Oh, no, I've got another birdie. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Okay, 16th, par four, 506 yards. Might get a little screenshot of this as well. That's a, another cracking looking hole. Yeah, about there. There we go. Let's aim this a little bit down this left hand side here. That's a bit better. Look at that. 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Right in the middle of the fairway. That leaves us 207, 17 down. So let's play around about 201. But then we've got that wind to contend with. Let's put it down to 6 iron. But we'll bring it back just a touch. Move it over here. Oh, that's looking not bad, you know. Even though it was quite a big underswing, we hit the perfect at the top there. And another birdie! Look at that birdie every hole in the back nine so far. 29 under. Woohoo! A 17th par three, can we? Birdie every hole on the back nine. Come on. With that wind as well. Then um, drive. No. Let's come off of that. Right. Where's the right? Let's bring that back just a touch to about there. And we'll aim in the water because of the wind. Oh, this is dodgy. It should be okay though. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do it. Oh, that's run on quite a bit, though. Massive putt. Was this the one where I got the 50 footer? It might have been, you know. Nah, it wasn't this one. Right. Let me have a little looky here. Oh, I hate that bloody camera. Let's try about there. Too bad. Oh, that's went past a little bit. So we didn't birdie every bloody hole in the back nine, though. Damn it. I was trying to do that there. Uh oh. Oh, I thought that was going to turn a little bit more there. I thought we might have missed that one. But we'll take the par there. Oh, P. Didn't bloody birdie that 17th. Okay, let's birdie the 18th, though. Come on. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn the the, the wind and that off as well. Just to make it a little bit harder. Like I said, if I turn the green grids and all that off, the way the cameras is at the moment, the videos are going to take way too long. You're going to be talking in the 40 minutes because you're going to be trying to look at your putts from different angles and stuff like that. So until they fix the camera views, I'll keep the the grids on. Let's move that over there. Uh, finesse, a little bit high loft. That should be good. Oh, hell, that turn. How did that turn like that, that much? Did you see how quick that turned there? Let's just Take it from point of entry. And it looks like we're not going to birdie the 18 feeder. <laughs> well, look at that. It's dropped me on the green. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, that stayed out left as well. Though. That kind of moved left as soon as I hit it. Oh, bogey on the bloody last hole. That was 
we were doing such a good round there, except for that one bogey we had on the um, the first hole there. Minus 10 on the final day. So that's pretty bloody good. So we hit, we're at minus 28 at the end That uh, Will Zalatoris, minus 17. He only hit a minus five today. And there we go. There's the cup. Woohoo! Nice one. Wells Fargo Championship. Let's exit out here. So there you go, guys. Wells Fargo Championship at the Quail Hollow Club. We won that trophy. Roll on to the next one. Hope you enjoyed that. So what is next? Oh, Pebble Beach. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay